In the edit tab, go to your effects library and find the adjustment clip. Leave it in between your video clips, take it down in length, right click and open infusion tab. Then highlight your media one, then press control space, type dent and click on add. On the right side on the inspector, you can change the dent type to sign dent. Then place your timeline playhead in the beginning of your video on frame number zero. Then reduce the values to zero, create a keyframe next to size and then move your timeline marker to the last frame and then go to size and increase it of your liking. A second keyframe will be automatically created and this is the final result. Really cool and simple lens distortion transition. On your edit tab, go to effects library. In the search bar, you can type adjustment clip, leave it over your footage and take it down in size. Leave it on the place on which you want to add the effect. Right click on the adjustment clip and select open infusion page. Left click on your media in, press control space and look for dent. After apply it, go to the inspector and change the dent type to dent number two. Then you can bring down the size values of your liking, should be around 0.06. While dent is still highlighted, you can move this tool right here and place it on one of the eyes. Once successfully placed, you can go to your dent, then you can highlight it and press Ctrl C or Option C for Mac users in order to copy this node and then press Ctrl V or Option V for Mac users in order to paste this node again. Then highlight it and grab it, leave it between this link by holding shift, it will be connected between dent and media out. Then you can grab this tool again, this is your dent number two, leave it on the second eye and this is the final result. You can then add a little bit of fading on that adjustment clip and play it through. And then this is what you should be having at the end. Nice and simple eyes pop effect. In the edit tab you can add a text plus in your timeline from your FX library, you can then rename it, pick a font and increase the size. Then you can hold out and drag it to make a copy on the video slot number two. Then go in FX library again. In the search bar, you can type blur. In open FX, you can find Gaussian blur. You can grab that and leave it on video slot number one, which is your first text. Then go to the inspector on the right side, click on the effects and increase the strength in order to increase the amount of blurness you want to apply on your text. The more blur you're gonna add, the shinier it's gonna get. Also, if you wanna make this text go blinking, you can add the keyframes moving forward in the timeline and changing the strength values up and down as you move forward in the timeline. And this is the final result. A nice shiny and blinking text effect. After importing your icon into DaVinci Resolve, you want to highlight it, right click on it and open Infusion tab. Then you want to highlight your media in, select the background icon right here. Then you can highlight your background. You can go to inspector and change the color of the background. I recommend picking yellow or white. I'm using yellow for my example. I'm selecting OK and we're ready to move on with the next step, which is adding a rectangle. So while my background is still highlighted, I'm selecting this icon, which is the rectangle. And now rectangle is added onto my background. Now. Everything that is in that rectangle is gonna be our background. I'm gonna maneuver the size of that rectangle by pulling the sides of that window. So I'm pulling the sides towards the middle so I can make this thinner. Also pulling down the side so I can make it taller like this. And also I'm gonna rotate this green wheel right here so I can adjust the angle. As you can see it's moving left and right. You can do that also from the inspector by reducing and increasing the values of the angle. I'm pretty happy with what I see, so I'm gonna leave it as it is right now. Now I need to make sure that this rectangle, which is with the background, is only going over the icon, not outside of the icon. So I'm highlighting the merge node and I'm adding another rectangle. What my second rectangle is gonna do is going to tell where is my first rectangle going to be located. Now while my still second rectangle is highlighted, I'm gonna pull the sides and tell the first rectangle where I want it to be. So now I'm telling DaVinci that my first rectangle should not go over my second rectangle. I'm pulling my background rectangle one to the sides and I can see that it's going outside of our icon. That means we have a little bit more work on our second rectangle. So I'm highlighting it and I can see that the borders are going outside. So I'm going in the inspector on the right side and I need to make this corner radius little bit curved so I'm corner radius 
and I'm increasing the size just as much as I'm covering only the icon. If your icon is having a different shape, which is difficult to mask with just a rectangle, you can use a polygon. Now moving on, when I'm sure that the second rectangle is just over my icon, I'm ready to continue customizing my first rectangle. I'm highlighting it and I'm reducing the level, which is the opacity, to 0.3. Then I'm going down in the settings and I'm increasing the values of soft edge to 0.03. That way I'm adding some softness on the edges of that rectangle. Now we are ready to animate our shine slide. So I'm going on frame number 20. I'm moving my first rectangle on the left side of our logo. And then I'm selecting the diamond next to center X, Y, so I can create a first keyframe. Moving, let's say five frames forward to frame number 25. I'm moving my rectangle one on the right side of our icon. And now our second keyframe will be created, making a slide over our icon in between frames 20 and 25. I'm previewing the animation to make sure everything is running fine. And now I can do one more thing. I can go to settings and I can enable motion blur. And this is the final result. Quick and nice shine effect. Go to your color tab, which is right here. And on the right side, you will see your node tree. You can highlight your node right click add node and then add serial after adding serial on your node you can click on the effects and then you can type glow then you can grab that glow and leave it on your second node that you have just created and then a few options on the side will appear from this effect the most important one is the hv ratio which you want to make a values of one then moving forward down you can play with the gain and the gamma which is also a very important settings. You can increase their default values by a tiny bit. And also you can go to the color filter and you can pick any color on which you want to apply. I'm using in my case, just white color. I'm clicking okay. And next I'm going to global blend, which is at the bottom and I'm reducing it close to half values so it can blend in. So this is before the effect. And now this is after the effect was applied. A nice and quick lens flare effect. After having your footage on your timeline in the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve, you want to make a duplicate on video slot number 2 by holding out and dragging it to video slot number 2. Then go into effects library, open effects and get a Gaussian blur and you can leave it on your second video that you have just duplicated. Then reduce the horizontal and vertical strength to 0.1 and then click on the video icon and go down in the settings and decrease the values of opacity to 60. And after reducing the opacity, we can make another duplicate. This time we're going to duplicate the second video that we're having on video slot number two, holding out, dragging it to video slot number three, then placing our timeline playhead in the beginning of our timeline and press the right arrow of the keyboard to move one frame further. Then I'm gonna align my second clip starting from there, then pressing right arrow again and making my third video starting from the third frame. And this is the final result. A nice and quick dreamy ghosting effect inside the video result. If you like those type of tutorials, make sure you watch this video right here. I'm showing many other effects inside the video result. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.